Okay, this is our chapter five, lesson three um, from our math workbook. Um, it's on page 339. So if you're not sure if you have the right one down here in the bottom, you should see the number 339. Okay, so the directions say, count the dogs in the first group, write the number. So we're going to do that first. The first group right here, let's count the dogs. One, two, three. We have three dogs. Remember, when we're writing three, we go around the tree, around the tree. That's the way to make a three. The next set of directions says, trace the plus sign. So if you've already watched our um, vocabulary video, you know that the plus sign looks like a T and it's telling us that we're going to add or join these numbers together. We're going to put them together. Count the dogs in the second group and write the number. So that's our next thing. One, two, three, four. So we have four dogs in the second group and we're going to go down and over and down once more. That's the way to make a four. All right, then it wants us to use our chips. If you have your chips that I sent home with you, uh, Miss Simons actually doesn't have those right now. So I have the um, squares and that's what I'm gonna use. We're gonna use those to model each group. So I'm gonna make this group my red group and this group will be my blue group. And then we'll write how many dogs there are in all. So if you watch the vocabulary video, you know that in all, is the same as saying I want the sum or the answer to our addition problem. So I have one, two, three dogs on the red float. And I have one, two, three, four dogs on the yellow float. And now I'm going to count how many squares I have all together. If you have your round pieces, you'll be counting round pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember to push your um, chips or whatever you're using away as you count it so you know that you've already counted that one so you don't count it again. All right, so we got seven, so three, plus, remember, this is a plus sign, so when we see it, we're going to say plus. Three plus four is across the sky and down from heaven. That's the way to make a seven. Okay. Let's flip the page. So remember, we open it like a book, and then we grab it by the corner where it's stapled, and we're going to flip it like a pancake. All right, so here it has highlighted plus sign because that's one of our vocabulary words. That's one of our new words that we're learning in this lesson. All right, the directions for number one say count the bears in each group. We're going to do that, and then we're going to trace the numbers with it. So how many bears do we have right here on the swing set? We have one bear. Down for one, that's all we're done. Then we're going to trace the numbers and trace the plus sign. We have a plus sign here. We need to trace it. Um, and then we need to do our second group. One, two. We have two here. So we're going to go around the bend and down the track. Two, two, two. So we have one plus two is, and then we need to circle the whole group. So we're going to circle the whole group and count how many we have in the circle. One, two, three. One plus two is three. Okay, so that's the last thing we do is we're gonna write how many bears there are all together. So don't forget, three is around the tree, around the tree. That's the way to make a three. It's good practice to say these rhymes while you're writing your numbers. All right, so for number two, we're going to count the bears in each group. We're going to write and trace the plus sign and the numbers. 
And then we're going to circle the whole group and write how many is in the whole group. So in this group on this side of the seesaw, how many bears? Let's count. One, two. Around the bend and down the track. Two, two, two. And then we're going to trace the plus sign. Plus tells us that we're going to put these two groups together. How many do we have on this side of the seesaw? One, two. Around the bend and down the track. Two, two, two. So next we need to circle both of these groups. Now how many bears do we have in the circle? We join them together. We put our two and our two all in one circle. So let's count how many bears are in the whole circle. One, two, three, four. Down and over and down once more. That's the way to make a four. So we have two plus two is four. All right, let's go down to number three. We're gonna do the same thing. So here we have bears that are throwing a ball. Let's see how many bears we have in this group. One, two. So we're gonna make our two. You can practice saying your rhyme as you draw the two. It's really helpful. And then we're gonna trace our plus sign. It looks almost like an X, but it's kind of crooked. But it's also, it's a T. <laughs> it looks like a T too. <laughs> All right, let's see. And how many bears do we have over here? It looks like maybe they're playing a chasing game. Looks like maybe they're running or maybe just walking and talking. Let's see how many bears there are. One, two, three. We're going to write three right here, and then we're going to circle all the bears in the picture in one big circle. We don't want to leave anybody out. And then we're going to count all the bears that are in our circle. One, two, three, four, five. So for five, we have neck short, belly fat, Mr. Five wears a hat. So two plus three is five. We're gonna take our paper and we're gonna flip it like a pancake. Just flip it straight over. All right, we're gonna keep doing what we've been doing. We're gonna count each group of bears and write their numbers. We're gonna trace the plus sign and then we're gonna make a circle with all of our bears in it and figure out how many are in the circle. So I'm gonna do the first one with you. So over here we have bears playing in the sand on this side of the sandbox. So let's count. One, two, three. We have three bears here. Let's trace our plus sign so we don't forget. How many bears are playing in the sand over here? Let's count. We have three bears on this side of the sandbox. So then we want to circle all of our bears in one big circle. We want them to be all together. We don't want to leave anybody out. Now let's count how many bears we have in the whole circle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down and around a monkey's tail, a six you'll make and never fail. So we have three plus three is six. So I want you to do number five and number six. I want you to practice it on your own. And um, I'm going to go ahead and flip to the last page so I can tell you what to do on that one. But these are independent practice, which means you can do it on your own now. All right, so we're gonna turn the page like a book. Again, we're gonna take the corners here and flip it. All right, so our brain builder says count the cupcakes. Write the number on the line below the cupcakes. So let's do that first. Let's count how many cupcakes we have. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna write five right here. And then it says trace the plus sign. We don't wanna forget to do that. And then it wants us to draw a group of cupcakes that is less than six cupcakes. 
So we can draw whatever number we want, but it has to be less than six. Um, I think I want to draw three cupcakes. So I'm going to draw three cupcakes. Your cupcakes don't have to be fancy. All right, so we have one, two, three cupcakes. So, and then I need to write the number. So I have one, two, three. I need to write that I have three cupcakes here. And then I'm going to write how many cupcakes we have in all. So if you need to, you can count all of the cupcakes. If you need to circle it first, you can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight cupcakes. That is a lot of cupcakes. All right. Now we're also uh, supposed to draw um, how many presents. Uh, we're supposed to draw more presents. So we have one, two, three presents. And then we need to draw a group that is less than seven presents. So I'm just going to draw two presents really quick. All right. So let me draw a line so it just kind of hides it from my cupcakes. I want you to talk with a friend, your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, grandma, grandpa, anybody you have with you. I want you to figure out how many one, two, three presents plus one, two presents is. And then if you want to just write the answer like over here beside your paper so I can see that you did it. And then that's it. All right. Great job today, guys.